Have you ever fantasized or thought about changing a man? Now, you're probably watching this and thinking, Erica, I've never fantasized about changing a man. But before you are dead set that that is not you, you should be patient, hang on, and just see if perhaps you can find yourself in this scenario. My name is Erica Angelo. Thank you for being here. I've been giving advice for four, no, this is going to be my 15th year in 2023. Oh my God, 15 years with helping people with dating and relationships. Crazy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you don't do that, even though you're subscribed, YouTube will never show you my videos that can change your life. So you have to turn on the bell. I know it's obnoxious, but I've messaged YouTube and they're like, they have to do this. I'm like, why even have them subscribe? Anyways, so let me present this scenario. When we talk about the fantasy of changing a man, I think any woman, as soon as any woman hears that, our innate reaction is to go on guard, be a bit defensive and say, I would never try to change a man, right? I think we all would say that. Or maybe you have some of those who are like, no, you damn straight. I 100% want to change men. And I have heard of some women like that, but I would say probably the majority would say, no, I would never want to do that. Whereas you have a, fall, a small handful of those women who are like, damn straight I do. Duh. That's why they're with me to become better. <laughs> And listen, I appreciate you both because there's, there's truth on both sides. So the reality is this. let's paint a scenario. You meet a guy, he is funny, he's articulate, he is successful, and he's good looking. So all that is great, right? And then you all of a sudden realize that he has maybe this lack of vulnerability, which to be fair, most men do. And I have to say, it's not their fault. It's definitely some societal norms where men, if they're vulnerable, they get called the P word and, and they're shamed for it. But regardless, he has major issues with being vulnerable. This dream guy that you have scored, that you're with, that has chosen you and you have chosen him. So really struggles with vulnerability. Now, he tells you, yeah, that's just who I am and that's how it's always going to be. This is obviously a red flag because anyone who just says they draw a line in the sand and they say, that's who I am and that's how it's gonna be is always a red flag. Why? Because relationships are about evolving together. But this guy is too good of a catch for you to just draw the line in the sand with. So you think, okay, he says that, but, and then you start making the compromises. Well, you know, it, his father was a military man and he was very strict with him. And so, you know, maybe that's what it is. Maybe if I just show him through my demonstration of being vulnerable, I can change him. I can show him what a win-win situation is. Now, here's the reality. The reality is you are already developing the fantasy. There's this bubble, you know, when they th draw cartoons and the little bubble comes up with the thoughts. The thoughts are you start imagining how you can make this man better to fit and suit your needs. And so we do this on all sorts of levels. Like, you know, maybe it's like his, you know, he doesn't have a desire to go out and be adventurous like you. Like maybe he is a homebody. Maybe he wants to stay at home and just watch movies all day, documentaries. But you, you like to go out and have adventure. You like to do this. And so it's a real downer because you want to go out with your friends. You want to enjoy life and you want your guy to be there with you. I mean, who wouldn't, right? So you start thinking, well, you know, maybe if I just tell him how much it means to me, then he will change his mind. Or he hasn't met my friends. My, my friends are great. Once he gets to know my friends, he would know how great they are. And then he would see that he needs to get out of the house. When really what you have on your hands is an introvert. 
And so the fantasy starts building and the reality is he's going to resent you in the end because he's just an introvert. There may be those handful of times that he musters up the courage to go out with you, but all in all, this guy wants to stay in. And so you have to either accept that or move on and find someone who's more adventurous and outgoing as you are. Here's the differentiation. The differentiation is this. At the end of the day, we can't change anyone who's unwilling to change, who who are dead set in their ways. When you meet someone like that and they go, this is who I am, that's how it is, done, case closed. When you meet this kind of person, you have to ask yourself, is this someone, can I accept them as they are right now? Can I accept the full package of who they are? And that's really hard. I just want to really get that point across. It's very difficult when you're really into someone and they check a lot of boxes, but there's that deal breaker for you that you just know in the long run, you're never going to be satisfied with this type of person. That is where you have to have a come to Jesus with yourself and be very honest with yourself and go, can I live with this or can I not? And if the answer is no, listen, you are wasting your time, you're wasting his time, and you're going to create a lot of frustration in the relationship. One thing that a friend of mine told me, and it was so difficult to hear, was when I was trying to do the same thing, fantasizing about changing this guy. And I'll never forget that a friend told me this. She said, Erica, he told you who he was. You just didn't want to believe him. That was so painful to hear. But that truthful advice brought perspective to me and it helped me to walk away from the scenario. So it's getting very clear about do you have a person who wants to develop, who is telling you, yeah, this is a challenge of mine, but I want to grow in this. Or do you have someone who's drawing a line in the sand? And also, I just want to put out this disclaimer as well, because there are some people out there, sometimes if you're dealing with like a narcissist or someone who really doesn't care, they just want to keep you in the picture. There are some people that will tell you, yeah, 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 I want to change. And and so that will keep you hooked because you're like, well, then I'm not fantasizing about changing. He says that he's open to growth. But then what you do is you watch his behavior. Does he actually do things to develop in that area? Or is he just saying that to keep you? And that's something that you really want to be mindful of. And lip service means nothing at the end of the day. Actions always speak louder than words. So the reality is this, I think we get really scared, especially as we start to get older, the clock starts ticking. It's like we think, okay, I've I've been through a bunch of duds and this one is almost okay. So I better just settle with that. And the reality is no, if there are some things that you know are always going to be difficult for you to manage and you're going to find a challenge with, don't sell yourself short. Now, here's the reality. I also want you to keep this in mind. There's never going to be a perfect man. Listen to this very closely. Pay attention. There's never going to be a man who checks everything off on your list. And quite honestly, I think if we met someone like that, they would bore us to tears. The reality is no one's going to meet everything on your list. So we have to have some wiggle room. We have to have some negotiation. But there are those things that you know that you have to have. And if that person doesn't have that, it's a no deal for you. Don't waste your time. So fantasizing about changing men isn't helpful. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, Erica, I keep getting myself in these same scenarios over and over and I can't seem to find a way out, go to my website ericaangelo.com. I've got a lot of stuff there that will help you out to give you the tools to not keep repeating these same same relationships and selling yourself short. So go to ericaangelo.com. Listen, in the comment section below, I would love to hear from you. What is the one thing that you wish that you could change about men? 
And I really want to hear this because I also give advice to men as well. I don't believe in like it's men against women. I think that's so stupid and that keeps us so separated. Um, but I want to hear what's the one thing that you, if you could, if you could change something about men, what would you change? And I would love to take what you give to me and I would love to make videos for these guys and say, hey, listen, guys, this is what women want. You don't have to go watch the movie with Mel Gibson to figure out what women want. They are telling you what they want. It's right here. Here's the roadmap. Get to work. So in the comment section, help your girl out. Tell me what you really would like to change in a man. And I will share it with my audience uh, of men as well, because I have both coming to my channel, which is so great. I love speaking to both sexes because at the end of the day, how are we going to bridge the gap if we keep each other separated? Never going to work. Never, ever, ever. So make sure that you watch this next video because it could possibly, I'm being modest, it will change your life. Watch this next video right here. I love you, girlfriend. You got this. You're loved. And I'll see you in my next video. Turn on that notification bell.